guys welcome back to my channel san and nastaki and in this video we will discuss what is ha policy and we will discuss what is sfo and cfo so related to this topic few days back i have uh, posted one uh, poll asking a questions that uh, during a takeover of netapp node which process happens first cfo sfo or none of the above so 78% of uh, viewers has answered sfo and 15% cfo and 7% none of the above so in this video we will also will be able to know the answer of this uh, question by this poll you may have uh, guessed what are the topic that we are going to cover in this video so before proceeding further as usual don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that uh, whatever new video i upload in my channel you will get a notification immediately so let's proceed the first point is that what is ha policy so ha stand for high availability if you are not aware of ha then let me give you a brief explanation ha stands for high availability it means that two node in netapp cluster will be in a pair that pair is called high availability pair it means that if one node is down then uh, the partner node will take over the functionalities of the failed node in this way netapp maintains a redundancy to serve data in case of uh, a unexpected outage so ha policy is basically assigned to each aggregate of netapp cluster let it be the root aggregate or let it be the data aggregate so every aggregate of uh, netapp cluster will have a ha policy and ha policy decides how an aggregate failover happens during a takeover and give back in general terms ha policy decides the sequence in which root and data aggregates failover happens to the partner node so this explanation will be more clear in next uh, slides when we will know what are the types of ha policy there are two types of ha policy in netapp cluster mode sfo and cfo sfo stands for storage failover and cfo stands for controller failover so sfo policy is always assigned to all data aggregates of a node which means whenever sfo happens the failover or give back happens for all data aggregate to the partner node similarly cfo is assigned to all root aggregate of node in other sense we can also say that whenever cfo happens the failover or give back happens for all root aggregate of the partner node so we will explain this process in more details in the next slide sequence of sfo and cfo during failover so whenever a failover event happen or we can say whenever a takeover event happen then first sfo happens and then cfo happens it means that whenever a failover happen the failover of data aggregate happens first and then the failover of root aggregate happens simple terms during failover sfo happens first and cfo happens next so this slide also gives us the answer of our poll that we have conducted and uh, that is during takeover which process happens first so the answer is sfo that is storage failover now let's discuss the opposite that is sequence of sfo and cfo during give back the failover happens to the partner node whatever issue you had you resolved it and then you initiated a give back so during give back the cfo happens first and then sfo it means that give back of root aggregate happens first and then the give back of data aggregate happens now the question comes how we can monitor this process sfo and cfo so we have commands available for it so during takeover we can execute command storage failover show hyphen takeover and this command shows the progress of sfo and cfo now during give back we can use command storage failover show give back and this will also show the same information that is the progress of sfo and cfo so that's all for this uh, video hope you understood the concept of cfo and sfo and uh, once again don't forget to subscribe to channel for more upcoming videos like this thank you for watching